you are wrong if you are making timetable like this morning 3 hours of maths physics and chemistry in the evening like 3 3 hours each then you are completely wrong you won't be able to make it and instead it demotivates you and that's why the timetable i will give you in this video is the most practical one the student who gets the rank below 10k and the one who gets the rank around 1 lakh or more than 1 lakh they have a difference of just 6 months of preparation and this is the time for you to start preparing the timetable which i will give it may be hard but if you follow then definitely you will succeed so i read everyone's comment and i got to know on an average your school starts at 9:30 or let's take it 9 in the morning and leaves at 5:30 pm including your coaching and traveling time but if it doesn't fit for you then don't worry for example some prefer to study in the morning and some prefer to study at night and i made it very flexible that you can modify it easily so in this time table i considered you will sleep for 6 and 1/2 hours in the weekdays that is monday to friday and 7 and 1/2 hours on weekends that is saturday and sunday and idralli assume madona nimge ardha gante bekagutte nidde baroke so it will be 6 hours on weekdays and 7 hours of sleep on weekends so i made two time tables one for those who go for coaching and one who does not go for coaching and they do self studies so here is the first time table so for the weekdays that is monday to friday so according to me your morning will start at 6:30 am you will wake up till 7 you can meditate or exercise for half an hour then 7 to 8:30 study session 1 that is you will study math that will be for 1 and 1/2 hours and as your school will start at the 9 am 8:30 to 9 that is half an hour take it for a traveling and if possible try to revise while traveling like if you are sitting in a bus you can open just your mobile or if you have some shortcut formulas you can revise that and 9 to 5:30 will be your school hours and 5:30 to 6:15 you will be returning to home then freshing up and tea breaks and 6:15 to 8:15 that is 2 hours you will be studying physics and from 8:15 to 9 you will have a dinner and from 9 to 11 study session 3 that is chemistry for 2 hours and uh, similarly 11 to 12 just last 1 hour you will be revising whatever you have learned throughout the day and 12 am you will sleep and again this will continue you will wake up at 6:30 so total daily study hours will be morning 1 and 1/2 hour and evening 2 hours physics 2 hour chemistry and 1 hour revision so total per day you will be studying 6 and 1/2 hours and total weekly hours if we calculate uh, into 5 days that will be 32.5 hours so you might be thinking how can you study 8 hours per day we'll come to that and one more thing if you have classes on saturday as well then just be absent on that day <laughs> literally i'm not joking if you go 5 days a week instead of 6 still your attendance will be maintained and according to me nobody cares that much in the pu colleges then comes to the weekend part that is saturdays and sundays here you will have holidays so you have to use this time very carefully so we can study hours breakdown so in weekends you will be sleeping 7 and 1/2 hours so you will wake up at 7:30 in the morning a half an hour you can meditate or exercise and 8 to 9:30 study hours one that is math for 1 and 1/2 hours then 9:30 to 10:15 45 minutes you will be having bath and breakfast then at 10:15 2 to 15 that is 2 hours you will be studying math uh, then you will have a break for 15 minutes in that break you can go out or you can talk to your mom or just chill but don't use instagram and any other dopamine hitting breaks because that will make you feel boring when you sit for studying again so at 12:30 to 2 you will be studying chemistry for 1 and 1/2 hour then 2 to 2:30 lunch then you will take a nap for 30 minutes for refreshing your brain then 3 to 5 2 hours again you will study chemistry and uh, then you will have a tea break for 15 minutes then 5:15 to 7:15 you will be studying physics for 2 hours then again you will have a break of 15 minutes in this i am assuming you can sit for 2 hours straight i can sit for 3 hours or more than 3 hours but if you can sit for 3 hours then go for it there is no necessary to take a break after 2 hours it totally depends on you or if you can't sit 2 hours also you can study for 1 hour straight then you can take 5 minutes of break or 10 minutes of break 7:30 to 9 uh, you will study physics then you will have a dinner for um, 30 minutes that is till 9:30 then 9:30 to 11:30 you will be studying math again and the last one hour till 12:30 you will be doing revision like for one hour whatever you have learned throughout the day and at 12:30 you will sleep see 12:30 to 7:30 is your sleeping time that is 7 hours and here you are taking a 30 minutes nap 
right so that will count again so it will be seven and a half hours so total daily study hours of this weekend is morning 3.5 hours afternoon 3.5 evening 6.5 hours so totally you will be studying 13.5 hours per day so if we calculate it uh, for two days that is saturday and sundays it will be 27 hours and if we make a grand total of this study time so weekdays 32.5 hours and uh, weekends 27 hours so total it will be 59.5 hours if we take an average that is divided by seven you will be studying around 8.5 hours per day and uh, let's assume you will somehow miss the half an hour so you'll be studying easily eight hours per day right so before going ahead please do subscribe guys I'm putting a lot of efforts to make these kinds of videos and if you regularly need these kind of helpful videos then do subscribe and share with your friends so let's get back and one more thing i want to suggest you that complete your homework or assignments in the class itself but how bunk the unnecessary language classes and you can bunk even pcmb classes as well like if you already know the topic or if the topic is too easy that you can easily study by your own then just bunk the class and complete your homework or if you have attendance shortage then just sit in the last page and uh, and try to complete your homework so do whatever but try to complete your homework in the class itself because you will get a lot of time in your home to study for kct and during weekends that is saturday and sundays try to complete your backlogs or the topics which are left over and if you have no active backlogs then just revise the things just revise whatever you have learned throughout the week and i'm telling that 99 percent of you will not be able to follow this timetable in the first day itself so it will take time like 20 to 30 days like step by step first day you might study only two hours then you might study study three hours the thing is you should not give up and study regularly and stick to the timetable even if you are feeling boring then you have to do it and those who do sub study uh, that they will not go for any coaching center the weekends will be same that saturday and sundays will be the same and i'm assuming your school time will be 9 to 1 30 so instead of 5 30 you will get three hours there so let's assume you will sleep for six and a half hours and morning study will be the same that is one and a half hour and as you will get three hours more so i will just add it up so in the evening uh, you will be studying two hours physics two hours chemistry and one hour of revision and uh, additional self study that is three hours so the total time you will be studying for each day will be nine and a half hours and let's assume you will somehow waste the remaining half an hour so let's assume it as a nine hours for weekdays if i do multiply by five then it will be 45 hours for the weekend it will be same timetable that is a total of 27 hours and if we add them both that is a grand total will be 72 hours per week which is nothing but average of 10.3 hours per day that is nothing but you will be learning almost two and a half hours extra compared to those who go for the coaching right and one more suggestion try to listen everything and understand in the class itself and now you might ask how will you gonna cover the language subjects so one week before the exam just leave the timetable and start studying the language subjects and the theory part like as you will be thorough in uh, kcd syllabus so theory will be very easy for you and your timetable should be dynamic that is it should be always changing you should not stick to the one timetable because sometimes you might have some urgent works lab exams or theory exams festivals as well so you should be continuously changing your timetable to make it more optimal so if this timetable doesn't fit for you or your timings are different then just don't worry just make it better according to you just change the things the whatever timetable i have given is just like a blueprint for you i just remember a quote where a successful person is the one who does the daily tasks every day even though he feels or she feels boring or feel like a giving up but they still do it because they know it's important and they have to stay consistent and that's what makes the difference between a normal man and a successful person so in the end i just want to say stay consistent stick to it don't give up in the middle so that's it if you find this video helpful then do subscribe and also share with that friend who is really struggling to study just help them as well and that's it i will see you in the next video bye